Kill her, kill her. And this is this is my moment that you are. It's Kelpie. Hello, Kate. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today's video, we're going to cook omena, which is called sardine in English. And let's go by the ingredients. Let's end up on my mboga. I'm going to take you to where I buy my groceries, vegetables. So in this case, it's not my mboga. It's baba mboga. <laughs> no discrimination in there. Fun fact about me: I don't eat omena or sardines. But I'm going to do this for my family because they enjoy sardines or menas and you know, you gotta do anything for your family, you know. So like this video, subscribe, let me know what you think. You guys have been enjoying my cooking videos. Yeah. And of course I search the recipe online because I don't know anything about omena. I've done it before but I keep on forgetting because it's not my favorite meal. So yes. I'm going to boil hot water so that it can pure over our side. So in case you don't know what omena looks like. Pour in a little of, of the salt just to make it a little bit cleaner than they already are and I'm going to leave them for five minutes yeah this is all the ingredients I'm going to use on my omena sardines uh, there's black pepper you can use mixed spices nutmeg capsium uh, three onions you can use one but I love so many onions and uh, garlic two garlics uh, ginger coriander which is dania in Swahili and three tomatoes three ripe tomatoes I'm going to use like a tablespoon of cooking oil, vegetable cooking oil. On this side, we are going to rinse off the omenas, sardines. As you can see, it's so dirty. We are going to still run it the omena on cold water. Make sure everything is clean. If you want to know where I got this sieve, I got it at Chandarama Food Plus. I'm gonna make everything clean. You can see they are now clean. Clean, clean. Yes. So I've heated up the cooking oil because I want to deep fry them again. Deep fry them or pan, pan fry them again. like this sieve it's the best thing go by the reason why i'm deep them is so that they can have like a crunchy feel to it
So I'm going to do this until the water is all down. So in the meantime, I don't like staying in the kitchen for a long time. So in the meantime, I'll be, I'll be cutting my spinach, kale, uh, vegetable. So I'm going to be eating uh, skooma, kale and spinach mixture with uh, the omena and ugali as usual. And as I told you before, I'm not a fan of omena, so I'm going to eat that with maziwa lala. This maziwa lala, maziwa lala is the best in the market right now. Not sponsored, just telling you good things. I don't like maziwa lala also, but ah, that's how it's going to be today. So all these are my ingredients that I'm going to put in. So I forgot to use the Arruva. I'm going to use this tomato paste. Yeah, someone commented that I should use the Peptang tomato paste, but I haven't gone to the supermarket yet. So I'm going to use this because I have many of them, and then I'm going to use the Peptang one. But this one is working pretty well. It's just that when you okay to recommend something, I want to try it also. And then I'm going to use this lemon juice, a little bit of it. Yeah. But it's not a must by the way. So let's go back to how they are looking right now. So I'm going to separate like this. This tip was given to me by my friend uh, Millie. Millie is a Luo. Yeah. She taught me how to cook omena because... So now I'm going to put my onions in the middle. Guys, this is a tip that I'm showing you. You should always, like when you're pan frying things, you are, your heat should be on medium high. This way. Medium high. So that everything can be juicy. And then when you are simmering, you can always lower the heat. So that's how it's going to be. So I'm going to add my salt. I always measure my salt with a tablespoon of salt, a teaspoon of salt because I'm so bad at putting salt. I've destroyed so many food because of putting too much salt. So the onions, so the onions will make the, the pageant smell of omena go down a little bit. So I'm just frying them until they are all them down. So now again, I'll put like a small circle and throw in my tomatoes. This is my tomatoes. Just putting them in. So I've put in my tomatoes. I'm going to lower the heat. So that it can simmer and the tomatoes can become soft. I'm going to finica them on top. So I'm going to cover it so that it can simmer really well. So it's about five minutes. I'm going to check in. It's about five minutes in. So the tomatoes are getting softer. So I'm gonna twist my recipe a little bit and add a little bit of lemon and lime juice and garlic. Then I'm gonna add the tomato paste. It's like your cheddaring kalogo. And of course, let it steam on low heat. I'm gonna stir. And then I'm going to add the black pepper. Just a little bit. And 
gonna keep on stirring. So now this is how it's looking. I'm gonna put in the coriander and the ho ho. What's it called? Capsham. Is it called capsham or uh, green pepper? I don't know. Earlier on, I bought this mazuelala but i didn't like it the way it was so instead of throwing it away i'm going to add it on my omena so that you have a thick soup honestly i don't know why i'm adding the mazuelala i saw people adding fresh milk but yeah, i'm just going to add this and this is this is my woman now you are this is it small juicy I hope they like it yes today's shout out goes to Ruth thank you Ruth for saying hi so, yeah I love you so much welcome to the K12 family let's hit 10,000 subscribers you know what you do subscribe turn the notification bell on and you're welcome to the cake time so watch more cooking videos here subscribe here and bye